21 days of war and vax, the word of God is being fulfilled with each passing day, with each passing day the days are getting more and more difficult, and you who consider yourself God's people, prepare yourself in prayer, prepare yourself in fasting, preparing your mind and your spirit, because things will narrow, you may think the church won't go through the great tribulation, maybe you're right, but are you preparing yourself to go to heaven? If Jesus came back today would you go up? So be prepared for both the rapture and the beginning of the great tribulation, I don't know if you noticed, maybe we are already living the beginning of the great tribulation, be prepared at all times in the name of Jesus, I will tell my experience of the first day of the 21 days of war, on Tuesday the Apostle Helen Janina prayed for me, and the angel that accompanies me took me by the hand and looked at me when my soul left my body. The Lord Angel said, Hi, Yara, I really miss you, and I said so did I, when we went up to the sky he took me into a room, where there was a lot of armor, specifically of people who go to war against the enemy, the saint who are in church praying, glorifying God, the angel said. For this new campaign of prayer and battle we have new armor, this campaign will be very strong, I said Amen and the angel of the Lord said these are armor of those who don't fight with swords, but with other weapon. These armors were beautiful. The angel took my armor and put it on me, at that moment he said you are being renewed and your spiritual life and strength are being renewed for these 21 days of prayer campaigning, I said Amen. And he told me. Now I'm going to take you on a battlefield for you to see how the demons, the sorcerers and the witches are furious about this new campaign of prayers. In the past few days there was no church campaign, and I want to show you why you never went to one battlefield, only the warriors who fight the demons that were, you were not there, when I heard this I was a little scared. The Lord Angel took me to the battlefield and there were a lot of wizards, and that day I saw the Lord Angels fighting the demons, wizards, sorcerers, there were all kinds of big demons that I've never seen in my life, I pulled back for I was scared. But then I took courage because the angels of war surrounded me, and the angel that accompanies me said to me, Don't worry because you have your armor and the warrior angels are fighting for your life. The 21 days of prayer campaign that began in your church will be strong and there will be battle, I said Amen, I saw those angels that continued to fight demons, my companion took me from the battlefield to a place, he wanted to tell me something and he took me to a place which was an all white room. There was only a stool there and we sat there, and the angel told me, the Lord were very sad when the apostles traveled to Uruasu for evangelical mission, many people stopped praying in their homes, no there was prayer in the church and they didn't pray in their homes, there are people who haven't prayed at all during all these days that the apostles were traveling, I told the angel I prayed. He said. You prayed but you didn't pray every day like you did before, you took two or three hours to consecrate yourself, read the Bible, pray and attended church and prayed there, when the apostles were traveling, there were days when you didn't consecrate yourself, you didn't pray, some days you consecrated yourself others not, the importance of you praying in your homes is that it pleases the Lord heart very much, you seek him in your house beyond the church, you seek him, he want to have moment with you. He was very sad with the people who cooled off during this period that the apostles were not in the church, and when you go to pray cry for forgiveness from the Lord, it is very important when the apostle asks you to kneel down and pray, those ten minutes before starting the move, at that moment you must ask for the armor, because this campaign is going to bring about a lot of war, I am teaching the church that they must pray in their homes, consecrate themselves in their homes, and pray in the church both are important things. The angel took me out of that hall and we began to descend, and I saw our church from above, and I heard from afar the apostle saying that the Lord is pouring fire in the church, at that moment I saw the fire fall from heaven to the church, many balls of fire were falling from heaven all around the church, and the angel of the Lord said, the Lord want this fire to fall during these 21 days, I want people to truly surrender to this campaign of war, the Lord Angel said. The Lord also wants you to know this about the V, anyone that took the V before knowing how much harm it will do in the future, how much damage it will cause in people lives and health, 
the person who took this V by ignorance and didn't know the consequence, when he regrets and asks forgiveness to the Lord with all his heart, the Lord will purify that person's life and body organ, and all the liquid that was transfused from the V in the body will be removed from the body, this is granted only if you didn't know the destruction the V will do, but those who were exposed to the revelation of the destruction of this V, those that knew the danger after the Lord had revealed that this V is not from him, those who knew that this V is a pact with Satan, those who knew the revelation that in the future this V will be very bad in people's lives and health for it will destroy the recipient, if after hearing the Lord warning, they took it knowingly and willingly, God will not forgive them, and they will suffer the consequences, because of fear they disobey, because of lack of faith they took it, and they forgot to put faith in the Lord, if they took it knowing God will not forgive them the consequences will come together for the people who took it, so I asked the Lord Angel, my family and some people from the church already took it, and the angel told me, since they didn't know, if they repent God will purify them, now you will come back and speak your experience, word of the apostle, grace and peace people of God I want to start this comment with a verse that is in Matthew chapter 24, from 10 to 14, at that time many will be scandalized, and will betray each other, and one another will hate each other, and many false ones will arise prophets and shall deceive many, and because iniquity abounds the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end will be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then he will come the end. We believe that we are already living in the last days, the last times, and many things have happened in the world. As you heard in this experience from Sister Yara that she speaks of the V, this disease that devastated the planet, as a result of this you is pouring a great anointing on the earth, in fact this anointing has always been available to the seeker, to the one who prays, to the one who pays the price, to the one who renounces, because the life of holiness is totally related to renunciation, everyone the days of carrying the cross, and here in the Shalom Church God has done this among his people, God has walked with us, God has found grace, we were a wide door church and because we come back the doctrine has changed a lot, it's not easy for you to implant a doctrine in the church that was used to another doctrine, a wide door, but God has had grace, and you yourself have visited the church, you have honored us, you have shown and taken the souls to hell, it has supported us, and I am very happy because this anointing has not spread not only to this church, but through this work it is also going to other places in Brazil and also around the world, so brother this experience sister Yara is very strong I liked it a lot, the love of many will grow cold, that's right apostle Helim, exactly this apostle we have seen this, that obedience is the way for all this to happen, obedience generates experience with you, and whoever obeys lives a life of renunciation, and everything he have spoken in his word is written and is being fulfilled and today we here at Shalom Church are seeing the fulfillment of the word of the Lord, we are a church that decided to obey the voice of God, becoming a church of true doctrine is not easy, but the Lord have given us grace and as a consequence comes experiences, such as the experience of Sister Yara and also of many other brothers, which God has revealed many profound things, this is the result of renunciation and obedience, and most of all you have to believe, you have to have faith, the conviction to know that it was the Lord who chose us, and that we are facing a great work on earth, so that the name of the Lord may be glorified and many lives surrender to you and even to give deliverance to many, God bless the brothers and dem name of Jesus. I'll tell you my experience of Wednesday. The angel of the Lord took me by the hand. The apostle Janina prayed for me and the angel took me. And he said that the apostle prayed for me to see something. He would show me things so he showed me the Shalom Church channel on YouTube and told me that many lives would be built, people who did not know the Holy Doctrine entered the Holy Doctrine because of this channel, there are people who criticize, want to debate and speak that's not true, what matters is the souls that are being built, this channel belongs to you, and the Lord put it in the Apostles heart to create this channel on YouTube, and you will one day tell the Apostles to stop with this channel, but at the moment this channel is building many lives, so this channel cannot stop, when the apostle can live and the apostle gives the word, it is to continue, 
it is to continue posting the raptures because it has built many lives, many people has entered the holy doctrine because of this YouTube channel, I said Amen, let's pray. Lord God beloved Father, I present to you this man this woman, who was attracted to this video, attracted to this channel, my Father, by the very Holy Spirit, may you pour grace on him, on her, Lord may your armor come on your servants, on your sons, on your daughters, my God helps us to fight coldness, to fight everything that prevents us from praying, that prevents us from being in your presence, sanctifying yourself, seeking your face, tear down by land these demons, those evil arrows of hell that try at all costs to take the crown of your people, and bring this servant this servant closer to you, beloved father may he or she live the supernatural in life, my dear father, we deliver to you each of your children, take care of them in the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen may God bless them all in the name of Jesus.